It's June 2nd and I put these in here on March 18th. They went into the freeze dryer on March 16th and came out on the 18th and I put them in these bags. So this is kind of the worst case storage that you can do. Uh, the Ziplocs, these are freezer ones so they're thicker but they're still not anywhere close to what a Mylar bag would give you for protection. So I don't know how these are going to do. Hopefully they're still fine after that long. Um, we'll find out. And I'm going to do a quick test on the oxygen absorber to see if it's still functioning. So in fact we'll get that out first. Um, so what I have here to help me with that, I've got a plastic container and I've got a toothpick on here so that'll allow water to get under there. And I'm going to take the oxygen absorber out and tape it to the side real quick. Put that on there. Well, it doesn't have to be that quick. And then I'll put water a little bit on here and I'll put something on here to hold it down. I could just use a cup as long as I'm careful and don't wiggle it while it's on there. So I'm not worried too much about how much oxygen it absorbs, so how high the water goes, just the fact that it does. So I'm going to set this aside very carefully and then I'll put the weight on top of it and we'll come back and check it. Okay, so I'll bring this back in view. So I figured out that if I just put a heavy cup on top of it, that would hold it down. So I added a drop of green food coloring so I could see the water levels easier. It did in fact pull water up into there. The oxygen absorber was still functioning. I have no idea how much it would pull out still and I wasn't really worried about that. The fact that it was still functioning was what I was concerned with. However, even if oxygen had been absorbed as it got into here, the moisture wasn't. So the moisture was still affecting this and the light was. Um, so yeah, it's all bad. But the oxygen absorber was still doing its job even in this bag after 10 or 11 weeks. Let's see if I can get a line on this. Okay. So with the line on there, we'll be able to fill it up to that line and then find out how much more uh, is missing. So therefore how much oxygen was absorbed. And again, I'm not worried about the total amount. I just want to know that some was. So I'm real happy to see that that was still working. I let the test run for two full days and then I marked how high the water got on the container. Okay. This has been in there for a couple days now and it seems to at least have slowed down at that line. So I'm going to go ahead and take this out. We'll fill it up to here and then measure it, um, weigh it, and then find out how much more it can fit. Because with water it's one gram is one cubic centimeter. So we'll tell how much oxygen that absorbed out of this container and we can do the math to find out was that 100% of the oxygen or was it just how much that oxygen absorber could still absorb. Either way I'm really happy to see that it was still absorbing oxygen after being in a Ziploc for 11 weeks because a Ziploc is not very good for blocking oxygen or moisture. So we're gonna go ahead and get rid of this. And you can see the lines. So the, now it's the top line. Of course, that was the bottom line, line when it was upside down. But it absorbed that much of the oxygen or oxygen out of here. We'll weigh it at this point and then add that much more to find out how much it changed. 555. Now we'll find out how much it is to get to the top. Yeehaw! Okay, now I'm not going to go until it has a bulge at the top, the meniscus there, 
because it would have been slightly in by the time I put the container in there. So I'm, I'm going to use that number. So 711. So the difference between those. So with my crude measuring and lack of scientific equipment, uh, this is what I came up with. This container is filled with 711 cubic centimeters of water right now. The oxygen absorber had absorbed approximately 156 cc's, which is about 21.9%. So it's within the margin of error for the equipment that I have to show that it actually absorbed all of the oxygen out of there. Anyway, so it may have been able to absorb more oxygen than that. I don't know, but it apparently was still able to absorb at least another 156. And this was rated at 300 uh, and it had been in that Ziploc for 11 weeks. To me, that's really, really good to know that it was still functioning. I've started a second channel, Cool Reports On The Go, for things that aren't necessarily freeze drying. Please consider checking it out. Here's some of the shirts that are usually hanging up and these don't include most of the uh, seasonal type ones, Christmas and things, those are hanging somewhere else. So these are the long sleeve, that's the short sleeve. So these only get used really in the cool weather. And then we've got some special ones hanging on the wall in the hallway. 